a vinyl two in one. Hi, welcome to Garage Geek. So in part one of this video, Mark Morris said something interesting. So let's hear what he has to say. A double mm -hmm. record without mm -hmm. a bad song mm -hmm. on it. Now, if you want to know which album he was talking about, then you're going to have to watch his Saturday night chat. But I decided to grab two double albums that I feel do not have weak tracks on them. Now, unfortunately, both albums that I grabbed are copies that I've had for a long time and they're not in great shape. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Electric Light Orchestra's Out of the Blue. Now, I don't feel this album has a weak track on it. As a kid, I devoured this album. I would play it all the time. And as you can see, my copy is just beat up. Uh, it's all frayed around the edges. Yeah, I, I need an upgrade to this, but I'm also happy that I have it in my collection. Now, many people would disagree with me because when I read about this album online, everybody uh, or so many people write how excessive it is and how it could have been trimmed down to one album and it would have been stellar. Uh, I disagree. I really like this album a start to finish. So the second album that I'm going to pick, it should be no surprise to anyone who's been around on my channel for a long time, uh, and that is Frankie Goes to Hollywood's Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Now, again, this is a beat up copy. It's all stained. I did not do those stains. This album is just great start to finish. It's symphonic. It has some interesting sounds. There's different styles of music on here. It's it's really a great album. Now, of course, it has uh, the big hit, Relax, which this song tickles me to death. Because if you examine the lyrics to this song, it's they're filthy. And I just laugh thinking of the whole country and the whole world singing along to the song because every time you sing along to the song, you're basically engaging in anal sex. And I love how subversive that is. Now, listen to the lyrics. He's saying, relax, don't do it when you want to come. And so he's telling him to slow down. Don't finish yet. <laughs> and everybody's singing, relax, don't do it. <laughs> I just laughed so hard. Okay, that's got to be the greatest song in the world. And I say that is the gay national anthem. <laughs> Relax. Don't do it. But anyways, this whole album is phenomenal. So thank you, Mark Morris, for that uh, idea. I just thought it was great and decided to run with it. Now, JT's Record Room is also having a contest where you have to show three albums with food on them. And I'm actually having a lot of trouble finding albums with food on the cover. I have some with food in the gatefold and that kind of thing. I'm still, I'm still searching. So part two of this is Vinyl Martini. Such a great guy. His videos are so fun. He shows cooking videos. I love when he dances because I like to try to dance in my videos, but I don't. My husband says, you know, you need to delete that. So I love when he and his wife get up there and start dancing, boogieing, cooking, and then showing some records. Now, I recently showed this album because it has whiskey on the back or drinks for Vinyl Richie. More on Vinyl Richie in a second. But he said I should listen to this because it's a really good album. So I actually listened to it last night and I agree. So I will be doing a review of this album in the near future. So thank you for that Vinyl Martini. So in the comments to my Vinyl Richie response, he was sad that I didn't show actual penguins. So here you go, Vinyl Richie. This is the Penguin Cafe Orchestra. And if you've never heard them, you're missing out. It's mostly, I think, all. Yeah, it's instrumental, and man, are these songs good. So this is the Penguin Cafe Orchestra. So there you go, Vinyl Richie. There is a penguin. And also, somebody riding a horse. Is that a... Oh, yeah, it's a penguin. Penguin-headed person riding a horse. There you go. Vinyl Richie, penguins for you, or at least one single penguin. So Vinyl Martini's contest is show beards. And I was like, I'm in. Now, if you don't want to hear a gay man go on and on about sexy beards, then you better turn this video off right now because it's probably going to get weird. So I'm going to show a bunch of albums with beards. I don't know how many you're supposed to show. I don't even care that there's a contest. I just want to show off some beards for Vinyl Martini. And he's giving away a prize, which is uh, a beard um, set. What do you call it? a beard uh, grooming grooming set? And I want the prize for him to come to my house and like fix my beard because his beard looks 
perfect. So I need to know how to do that. So he needs to come and give me a demonstration. So that's what I want if I win final martini. So let's start off with this guy on this Kingfish album. Like he's rocking that beard. It's wavy. And look at his mustache going up like that. Having no shirt. That helps as well. Here we got uh, Jethro Tull. Look at this beat up copy. Uh, he's saying, no, keep away from that beard. His beard is inverted. I pulled this album because Chris Isaac is such a cutie. Look at him. He's a distinguished older man, but I'm wondering what would he look like with a beard? I bet he'd be 30 times sexier. So Chris, I need you to hear me. I need you to send me a picture with your full beard. Chris Isaac, that's a call to action. Okay, Chris, I'm waiting. We have to mention Burl Eyes. I mean, look at Burl. Wait, he's on the inside too. Hold on. Oh no, he's not. He's on the, he's on the, uh, wait, I thought there was another picture of Burl on here. I can't find him. Oh, it's one of those tricky, weird, look. Oh, but he's still not in there. <laughs> I can't find him. Okay, Burl's only on the cover. But if you've seen the cartoon, Rudolph, Burl Ives is the snowman with that, that cute little beard that we all saw as children. Here we have Rufus Wainwright, prima donna. And <laughs> maybe that describes him. So there he is with his husband. Can you see his beard with his husband? And if you open it up, actually he looks quite distinguished with the beard. And there he is with his mother. There's Rufus. I love Rufus. Okay, Charlie Daniels Band. I should have grabbed a different album, but look at him. Look at how cute with his beard and smiling. We got some others, like uh, 70s looking people too. But yeah, look at Charlie Daniels. He's smiling and happy with that beard. Okay, this one might be a little controversial, but I think Placido Domingo looks good in that beard. But he's in blackface. <laughs> so I don't know. And look, look at his chest. Ooh. So Placido looking good. I've actually wanted to examine this for a long time because they say that this is the hardest male opera role to perform. It's the most difficult. So I, I've always wanted to uh, examine this opera to find out why. And um, I, I need to do that. If, ooh, I like that. If you're interested in having me break this down, please let me know in the comments. So of course the Bee Gees came to mind. So I grabbed this Barbra Streisand album and there you have Barry Gibb with his very short beard, but hey, he's got more hair than beard. Now this guy doesn't have a beard, but I figured as long as we're talking about sexy guys, I wanted to show it. So look at this. I freaking love this album cover and look at that. Hot, sweaty, just pretend he has a beard. Ooh, just look at it again. Wow. We got some new age beard coming up. We got Paul Winters. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, people are gonna laugh for me showing this album. I don't care. Yeah, I, I like new age. One of my favorites, Peter, Paul, and Mary. So here we got a twofer. We've got Peter and Paul with their, uh, what we call those? Not hipster beards. What were they called in the 50s? Beatniks. The, with their beatnik beards. Next, we have Michael Murphy, who is... I just laugh because that picture, that's like the bearded lady. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> his golden tresses, his golden locks. And finally, we just got some in, insane, bat shit crazy, Ozzy Bark at the Moon beard. <laughs> His beard just goes right into his chest. So there you have it. A Garage Geek uh, 2 in 1. Thank you, Mark Morris and uh, J uh, Vinyl uh, Martini. I think I said JT one time by accident. Uh, Vinyl Martini, thank you. I enjoy both your videos if you're not subbed to those two. You really need to because they both stand out in the vinyl community as doing something different and interesting. So you should be following along with their videos. I want to thank everyone out there for the support.